two minutes, then each of Congo will close. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I also want to support this motion, although I want to announce early that I will not attend for my good reasons. I have very good reasons for not attending. I've shared with Honorable Chief Konga. I still want him to do a lot more to convince me to attend this prayer breakfast. Mr. Speaker, I hope the caliber of the preachers will be carefully chosen so that we don't end up with preachers who after we leave Safari Park, then you see them involved in Shakahola kind of case. That would be a big shame for this, to this house. Let it happen to other places like the executive, but not this house inviting people with questionable character to pray for us. Finally, Mr. Speaker, I just wanted to remind Honorable Chungwa that the, he doesn't own God. God belongs to all of us. And by the way, he doesn't go to church quite often. I know him. I want to lecture him that God sometimes, when he finds that you are so tough-headed, he gives you very bad leaders. So that you learn, you get to know that leaders can force you to pay all the money that you earn in form of taxes. Those are the kind of leaders God can give you if you become tough-headed. And I think Kenyans should now start learning that God can answer prayers by giving you very bad leaders. And you can see it, the kind of arrogance that comes from majority leader, and the kind of arrogance that comes from other officers. I know, Mr. Speaker, if I mention those officers, and you know them, you will ask me uh, that they are not here to defend themselves. But the majority leader is here. This kind of arrogance, God, uh, finance no, bills, Mr. Speaker. I have no way of knowing what is on your mind. So I can go ahead. But Mr. Speaker, <laughs> Mr. Speaker, Joe Biden, the president of the most your time is up. <laughs> Chef, Chef Konga, before you conclude, let me give Faith Kitau.